National City residents say it is easy to see from the southbound 805 a growing homeless encampment. Those nearby have complained of rows of tents and trash. National City leaders say the freeway is actually the state's jurisdiction and the pandemic has only exacerbated the problem. News 8's Heather Hope gives us a look and has a response tonight from Caltrans. We're right along the 16th Street Bridge in National City above the 805 South, where just beyond that fence, you can see where people have been living in what's becoming a wide scale homeless encampment, causing distress for neighbors, saying it's been a growing nuisance, while city leaders say their hands have been tied while we've been in a pandemic. Mine's all the way in the end. Giving a walk through to where he lives, here's Junior Bautista. There's a kitchen area where we, you know, we all, we all actually come together, dine out and eat. You can see rows of grocery carts. Junior says he and others share food. We, don't, we really don't want to be here. Housing would be nice. Drone video shows just how widespread the encampment is in National City, with tent after tent and trash bags. When people drive through our city, this is what they see, and they think that's National City, and they don't realize that's state property. National City Councilman Ron Morrison says the city has done cleanups, but due to the pandemic, Caltrans hasn't cleared out the area, as in the past. A statement reads in part, Caltrans takes the health and safety of people experiencing homelessness very seriously and is monitoring and following all health recommendations. Consistent with CDC guidance to prevent community spread, Caltrans is proceeding with encampment cleanups if there is an immediate safety concern or threat to critical infrastructure. There doesn't seem to be near as much enforcement. I don't see too many, uh, too much that's up around La Jolla or Rancho Bernardo or anywhere. The nearby Bella Vida Apartments has complaints of homeless using the pool, stealing their power and hopping over the barrier to use their showers. We try to keep underneath the wall and the fence to where they can't really see us, but... This is their home. Uh, the, the people who are in the apartments, they need their, their privacy and their, you know, this is their space. Mayor Alejandra Sotelo Solis says they're working with Homeless Outreach Task Force to address the issue. No, it's not illegal to be homeless. Um, what is illegal is illegal dumping. Illegal fires. <laughs> Junior lives under a tarp. Now I got a little tent in there. It's all messy, but. The Sweetwater High grad said he spiraled after his mother died, but is willing to work. Who wants to come home to this after a hard day's work? And Mayor Alejandro Sotelo Solis said residents with any concerns can make them known to the city council. They'll have their meeting already in progress tonight, where it's not an agenda item, but they can still make public comment about this homeless encampment issue.